Okay, this Hangout is live. I'm broadcasting over Verizon LTE. Uh, this is Eric Chang from DJI. What I've got here is um, a Vision Plus on the ground over there. I don't know if it's pretty small. And I have my radio here with an iPhone connected uh, through a USB HDMI dongle, which is allowing me to feed the Vision Plus app uh, directly to Google Hangouts. And what I'm going to do is just try to do a live broadcast over in the mobile network to see if it works. Um, and also, I'm testing the new Vision Plus app, which, which has ground station built in uh, multiple waypoints. I don't know if anyone's out there. It says zero viewers, so I guess no one's out there yet. I only invited three people. So this will be something that most people watch afterwards. So let's flip the camera over to the USB dongle. Unfortunately, it's showing up vertically. Uh, the Vision app seems to advertise itself as being vertical. So uh, I'll see if we can get that fixed. All right, so you can see the app there. What's new is if I swipe from uh, right to left, you'll see there's now um, ground station built in. And uh, if I zoom out here, you'll see that I'm in San Diego. And those, um, those uh, red things are airports. Um, now, it looks like I'm not getting a network. This is something I can look into as well. Oh, there it goes. There's a the network. Uh, you can see uh, two airports there with the no waypoint zones of five miles, uh, five mile radius from these airports. Um, you can still fly within those, that five mile range, but you cannot set a waypoint. Um, it doesn't look like satellite view is working yet. Uh, that should be working by the time we ship, hopefully. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is go back to the camera and launch the Vision Plus and get it into a nice hover. I'll turn, I'll turn it around so you can see us, see us here. Let's see. There we go. We're standing in the shade, sitting, I'm squatting, because I have this cable connecting my radio. Send it up a little higher. OK, now if we swipe from right to left, we'll see the uh, phantom hovering there next to our home point. You notice as I turn the phantom, you'll see the orientation of the aircraft moving. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, set a waypoint uh, pretty much where the vision is right now. Uh, and we'll tap it and we'll set it to, say, 220 feet. Um, and then we'll set a second waypoint further out, say, at 300 feet, and a third waypoint at uh, 100 feet. Now I'm going to tap Done. You see those, those waypoints set. Hit Go. And now I'm going to go back to the camera view. And you'll see that we are, in fact, moving. We're, we're headed up an altitude of 97 feet and 100, 108. Uh, while it's doing this, I can tilt the camera up and down using the app. Now if we go to the ground station screen, uh, we'll see that um, we're at 246 feet. And now you can see that it's starting to move along the waypoints along the mission. So we've, hit, we've just hit waypoint 2. Um, I think the uh, uh, the altitude settings on the waypoint map itself um, do not seem to be correct right now. Um, again, this is a, an early version, so not everything is working perfectly. Now we've turned. If we go back, we'll see the vision has turned and now is headed to the next waypoint at 7 miles an hour. Let's tilt the camera down. And now it's going to turn and uh, come home. A 
Okay, now, now I'm flying it again. The way I took control was by flipping the S1 switch up and down, uh, just like you would take control of uh, like a fail-safe return to home. And let's give this a test. So um, I'm going to tell it to come home by tapping the come home, the go home uh, button on the right there. I hit OK. And now it's just in that's the standard kind of go home mode. And it's going to start descending. There's actually a tree right above us. Let's see if it misses the tree. Looks like it's going to hit. <laughs> All right, let me take over. I think home position moved by a couple of feet while it was in there. So it's looking really promising. I think once we get satellite view in the app and, uh, and fix some of the altitude markers, uh, it should be a really solid way to, to program missions using waypoints on the Vision Plus. Um, the ground station in the Vision Plus app is going to be more limited than ground station in the standard Phantom 2. Um, it has limits like uh, a 500 meter radius and a three mile total, uh, total mission length. Um, and that's just because we want the aircraft to stay within that extended Wi-Fi range the whole time. Uh, it's not really meant for out of line of sight flight or beyond line of sight flight. Um, it's really meant to um, uh, to let you play within that 500 meter radius. All right, I'm going to land it. Actually, let's do a test um, from landing, from landed position. Let's see. Okay, we're 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 now landed. Uh, I'm going to. Swipe over to um, to the ground station here and set a waypoint at let's say 280 feet, and I'm just going to hit done, and we'll see if it uh, launches successfully. Hit done. Ready. Battery levels at at 46 percent. Fly cautiously. Okay, go. Let's go back to the camera. We'll see that it's spinning up. It's taking off by itself. And away it goes. So it's on its way to that first waypoint after taking off by itself. And now it's coming back home. Let's bring it home. Explicitly, go home. I want to see it land itself. Okay, it looks like it's going to miss the trees. So it's at 20 meters. It's at 20 meters hovering by itself. Now it's descending to land.
That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Landed itself. Eventually, the props will turn off. <laughs> And that's it. I don't know what the quality is like in the broadcast because I'm, you know, broadcasting from that LTE signal. I look forward to seeing how good it is. Thanks for watching.